Hey, shalom, one. Okay, I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai. Rakatha Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, okay, our elders of GMS. And um, salutation and peace and much blessings. To your hopeful elect children of Israel. Okay, what I have here is a global protest tracker. A global protest tracker. Right. Grab the scripture here. Find out where it is first. Uh -oh. I mean, it's pretty accurate as well. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Second is six. It's like I, I usually don't do no pre prep videos before I start. I just start and go with the flow. One of the better words, go with the spirit. Okay. Um, and it's going down. Um, and six, six is pretty powerful. Okay. Then did I consider these things and they were all made through me alone. And that's your how was referring to and through none other. Okay. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Uh, this is that same God that blessed America at one time. You know what? This is that's the same God that blessed Esau at that one at one time. And now it's Esau's blessings is coming to an end. You know? Contrary to popular belief, yeah, the Most High created this devil just to punish us and to live good for for a short time. <laughs> I don't know why that's so hard to understand. All right. It says in verse 7, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting of sunder of times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And by knowing these answers is by watching. All right. So, like I said, Global Protest Tracker, a one-stop source for following crucial trends in the most significant anti-government protests worldwide since 2017. Last update on March 7, 2023. So, it's pretty, it's pretty up to date. All right. Um, now that I read that, another scripture just popped in my mind, but let me continue on. The scripture where they're going to disregard the kings. All right. Over 400 significant anti-government protests have erupted worldwide. More than 132 countries have experienced significant protests. 23% of significant protests have lasted more than three months. 135 significant economic anti-government protests have occurred since 2017. So this is what's going on down. Now, now look at Babylon over to the left there. You know, everybody's, you know, enjoying March Madness. <laughs> you know, in, in a lot of cases, enjoying the, the change of weather, spring. You know, uh, you know, a lot of niggas are sitting down watching ESPN. <laughs> Esau's out hunting. <laughs> yeah, you know, or at the bar or club, you know, at the bar. Cause these souls live good, you know. They don't sh they don't cook, you, you know. They go to the you know local restaurants, you know, to eat their, their everyday meals. I watch it every day. I see it all the time, you know. I've even known them to live that way, you know. Just constant their 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 meals, everyday meals, all day comes from uh, restaurants and fast foods. You know, yeah, he saw he he eats that shit too. You know, but the thing is with Esau, he's out exercising. He's out living good. He's, you know, he's a happy, he's happy. But those are, all that's changing. 
But you see why there's no dots in, you know why. Come on, it's not no mystery why everybody's stuck on stupid. All these protests that are taking place right now. Uh, um, let me get back to that scripture I was reading. Then answer I and say, what shall be the party of sunder of times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it to follow? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, which is, which is symbolic for, uh, boy, you're going to be my slave. And that's exactly where what's headed. And that's where what's playing out in this world where, where, it's, where it's headed. Okay, for Esau, and we all know who Esau is, the so-called white man, all right? You know, it's not a mystery that he's uh, the one that's running the world and destroying the world. So it don't make no damn sense that Esau is Japhet. How, how's Jap? I mean, I'm not even going to go there because it literally don't make no damn sense. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, led by Yahweh Shai, is the beginning of it that followeth, okay? The hand of man is betwixt the heel of, her, of the hand, and other question as was asked thou not. Right. Um, was there more in this? The hand of man is betwixt the heel and the, and the hand. And asked, I answered then and said, O Yahweh, that bears rule, if I have found favor in thy sight, I beseech thee, show thy servant the end of thy tokens, whereof thou showest me part the last night. So he answered and said unto me, Stand upon thy feet, and hear a mighty sounding voice. And it shall be as it were a great motion, but the place where thou standest shall not be moved. And therefore, when it speaketh, be not afraid. For the word is of the end. G example of me making this video and, and uploading it to the in internet and People click on and watching, just like with the, all the other brothers, Akim, that are uploading, laboring and uploading videos and out there in the highways and the byways and uploading the videos and people click on them, you know. It's of the end, all right. And the foundation of the earth is other understood. And why? Because the speech of these things trembleth and is moved. For it knoweth that the end of these things must be changed okay so let me go back to that and see if there's more into it okay and it gives you a, a pretty much a, a a count of these the heads of these uh of these protests i'll give you a million people armenia hundred thousand and I want to get to a couple of those um, but Belarus, those EU nations and NATOs Belarus is there 100,000 Slipper Uprising Belgium 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 <clears throat> Bolivia. That's South America. Okay. Mm -mm. Look at the Czech Republic. France, and right now France is, is in an uproar, but let me see here, okay, and it's February, right now as we speak, France is getting burnt down, you know, they're getting down in France right now, and it's, but it's not updated, so I said it was perfect, the site was perfect.
right now as we speak, one day ago, 40 minutes ago, weakened Macron sticks with pension bill, odds new reforms. Hundreds arrested as French protests continues. Government survives no confident vote. It's not mentioning anything about um, the war protests. And what's wild right now in, in Washington, D.C., there's, um, there's pro-war activists out there. Not just anti-war, there's pro-war activists. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Okay. Matthew's the 24th chapter. And he, 24 and 3, and he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Peace, peace. We're all, you know, because there ain't no damn time of peace. We're in the time of war. We're in a time of breaking down. We're in a time of hate. You know? So take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Yahweh Shai, the anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And people are uprising right now because rumors of war, because of wars and rumors of wars. That's a lot of these protests that are going right now that's not mentioned in there. It's because of rumor, wars and rumors of wars. And 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 it and more and more. More reasons of lockdowns and these man-made things, you know. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And these are the beginning of sorrow. Then right. shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many and because of iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved Okay, let me get back to that. So this, it, it, it claims to be pretty accurate, but it's not that accurate. But it is showing you that people are rising up and getting sick and tired of madness, man. Greece, and that's where it all started, you know. That's when um, I really first started that Esau was going down when, um, and I think this was actually before uh, 07, right before 07, Greece, the riots started in Greece, you know, and Greece represent Edom, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. And I mean, those fires and we, especially at the beginning of the truth in 07, 08, 09, when the uh, riots and fires started increasing in Greece, we thought that was, but the end was was knocking, you know, as far as like weeks away, days away. <laughs> Show you how much we knew being um, young and immature in the word and the truth. <laughs> February 20th, like Okay, Greece. Okay, Haiti right now, but they don't mention too much. To my some January 2023, people out now. Haiti right now is uh, people running around with hatchets. Jake's running around with hatchets there. They have no other enemy, weapons. Hmm. It's a good stand. 
Eleven here. Um, and you know what this show? This is an example of um. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Which the world is headed that way, and we're not there now. And the last time the world seen that was under uh, uh, the 40 years of, um, what, 40 years of King Solomon rule. Where the world was, re re uh, uh, was rejoicing. Okay. And the world hasn't seen that since. You know, even when the Holy Roman Empire, when Jake took over the Roman Empire and and up until the uh the point of the Black Plague, Jake wasn't re uh, rejoicing in those periods. Jake was still at war with the Edomites and you know. Jake was at war with themselves. So we haven't seen that since the 40 year period of Solomon. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. All right. And right now, the wicked are bearing rule. What is this saying to you on that? When the godly are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked are in power, they groan. All right. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Clearly, clearly, Poland, Poland front like they want to go to war with Russia, knowing they really don't. They're just hoping to pull America in. You know, hell, America really doesn't want to go to war with uh, Russia. <laughs> Ain't the, no one, there's a, not a nation on this planet that's prepared to go to war with Russia. And they're growing, and Russia's growing stronger day by day. You know, their economy, their military, their, their government, their, their, their country is in, it's on full uh, war mode. They're preparing for war. The whole country, all the people, man. Portugal, Portugal, February, January, January, 2023. Ice my elbow. Jesus hurts. Spain. Here we go. Spain. Mm. Turkey. Turkey is getting the spiritual ass whooping right now. disasters of natural so-called natural disasters turkey is getting an ass with them. united states abortion access protest you see the people don't have morals man it's a moralist society so they have protest for wicked uh abominable uh, uh rights Sure, this place is gone, man. It just shows you Babylon's gone. And, and, and look, police brutality protests. It uh, hasn't been one since 2022. Could have sworn there were a few after that. And that's what the whole uh, Black Lives Matter protest was all about. So that's not up to date. And they got a million there when there was far, the numbers far exceeded millions because the, it consisted of heathens as well. It consisted mainly of heathens, Edomites. Uh, and, and you may see a splash of all the other nations, heathen Gentile nations amongst that 
Black Lives Matter protests. So the numbers far exceeded a million when they were taking place. So anyway. It gives you some good numbers. It was like active and large. That's on the, the map here. Oh, shit. Screen froze for a second. And these are ones that are active right now. This is pretty sweet. You can see how you can download this. Not download it, but go to it up. Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. Large, violent, violent. Here you go, violent. The love of many shall wax cold. These so are the violent ones. Right. He answered me then, second is a nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou Understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Uproars of the people. Uproars of the people. Oh, three, what? <laughs> Al Jazeera, two days ago. It must be a, a documentary they put up. War beyond war. World beyond war. Upcoming anti-war events everywhere. 20 years after the start of the Iraq war, U.S. peace movement will protest yet another war. Upcoming anti-war events everywhere. The majority of these events are online and are accessible to anyone on earth. To add an anti-war event not listed here, just click, click to host and enter the info or email your event info to events at worldbeyondwar.org. There's a two kits for planning an event. Ticketed, if what? Ticketed, ticketed events? What? <laughs> ticketed events. Wow. Let me show you their, they got the profit and they'll use the excuse oh, we got to pay for this, the movement somehow. You don't hear that jackass Volker Malone speak on nothing of these things, man. It's not a concern to him and his dumbass followers. You know, the signs of the times, you know, that represent the end. It's not even a, a question in, they, in a thought in their mind, man. You know, they just got a hard on for Great Millstone. That's, you know, that's it. Just got a hard on for it, man. And these are events listed. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of them. You know? And this also shows anti Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai as well, anti Messiahs. Because his will is to destroy Esau in this kingdom. His will is to bring war, right? And this show you these people don't know nothing about 
uh, the, the scriptures, man. Nothing about the, the, the spirit of prophecy. Nothing, nothing, nothing about Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh. They totally, the world is totally in the dark, man. The script said that the world by wisdom knew not Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh, right? They know not Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh. Let me do this one. Let me do this one. Let me do this. Pro war protests. I should have put 2023 slide. 2023. Okay. February. While world leaders meet in Munich, anti demonstrators gather outside. The men who protested against the invasion. Of, well, I'm looking for pro war. Because, like I said, there were several uh, people on, online that mentioned it a pro war uh, movement. That was going on in Washington. I think it's right now going on in Washington. Actual pro-war movement. Massive pro-EU anti-Russia protest erupts in Georgia. Pro-Ukraine anti-war demonstrators rally. In D.C. one year after Russia's invasion. Pro-Ukraine. You are pro-Ukraine rallies. Playing in major cities. Okay, what's this? That's twenty fourteen. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. Keep your eyes open. Keep prayed up. You know, it's just the year of uh, the hopeful year that all these prophecies take place. You know, it seems to be on course. <laughs> all right. So, Shalom.